still uh, remember the first time that I ever made uh, what I considered a lot of money in one day. And I'm not talking like from stocks or anything like that. I mean, you know, straight up business. And that time was, I don't remember the date, but it was about a year and a half, maybe two years ago. And I was in Europe and I decided uh, to try my hands on coaching people from, uh, you know, from the United States, from internationally, mainly. Uh, so there were a few uh, things that I did, some marketing pieces, and I actually had two people uh, that were scheduled to talk to me. And uh, I wasn't even sure if I should get on the call. I was like really nervous and uh, wasn't really sure if I should go for it. But then I did. And uh, again, these were the only two calls I had set up for that week. I only had the next call or two uh, for the next week after that. And uh, I just got on the calls talked to both people uh, one, at, you know, one at a time in a period of about four hours. And uh, first guy, it was this fitness coach, uh, talked to him, we really connected, offered to work with him for $2,000, closed the deal, got paid, on to the next one. Then the next one um, did the call. Uh, the guy was uh, ex-military, uh, real estate, um, I don't know what's the word for that, but he would flip houses, like buy them really, really, really cheap, because uh, he had this really cool strategy uh, that I could share with you if you want. And, um, and then he would um, sell them uh, as if, as if uh, he bought like a regular house. So he would you usually make like uh, five, ten thousand dollars on each flip, which is not a lot, but it's very nice for the fact that he barely had any money down. So he also wanted to work with me. Uh, so I made almost the same offer to him. I offered him, I think it was 1500 And he also said, you know, fuck yeah, let's go for it. Sounds good. So yeah, <laughs> I made like uh, almost $4,000 in uh, four or five hours uh, in my account. Uh, from doing what I love anyway and I was um, shit <laughs> I was happy <laughs> I, I Skype called my best friend told him like hey dude oh my god you won't believe it like I'm never gonna have to worry about money again biggest mistake of my life you know <laughs> because I didn't know that once you get to a certain income you start thinking in bigger well, and then you take uh, bigger risks. Anyway, um, yeah, it was, it was crazy. So the first thing I did was book uh, the flight. I was, in, uh, I was in Lithuania, and then I booked a flight to Amsterdam for like two weeks. It was my second or third time there. Just partied there like crazy. <laughs> so yeah, I, I was a naughty boy. Like I would, I would spend so much of the money I made about you know 90 percent of it not very smart uh but but i learned i learned since then so um yeah i have m many more like i have so many stories it's unbelievable my life is like at age 22 <laughs> i'm writing a book about my life and I'm, al I'm almost at the 300 page mark and i'm not like trying to make it long <laughs> i'm trying to make it short and I'm not writing like, you know, oh, I went to the grocery store. It's only like really cool stuff that I did. So uh, yeah, the, <laughs> holy shit, there's a lot of stories. Um, yeah, but it's, uh, it's because I always took risks and I would always go for it, whatever I wanted, like full force, willing to fail. Um, and yeah, when I was little, uh, actually up until like a couple of years ago, you know, even the big risks, they're not that big when you're young, when you don't have that much to lose. Uh, but but the, the more mature you get, the more, uh, the older you get, the more money you make, uh, the more you have to lose. So, you know, the latest risk I took uh, was about $100,000 in the 
um, risk amount and um, that's that's pretty much as big as I got in terms of uh, risk taking uh, but I always say that you know you want to get to a million you have to get to risk at least 400,000 you want to get to 500,000 you're probably gonna have to risk about 200,000 so um, no risk without reward <laughs> anyway tell me if you're interested in hearing more stories because uh, I have an infinite amount of amazing stories and uh, if you want to read like the full story of Robbie and how I became me um, including all the lessons I learned and um, yeah some definitely some amazing shit uh, let me know uh, my book is almost done it's about 350 pages long and uh, I promise you it will be the top three most one of the top three most important books you will read in this decade hit me up <laughs>